Hi, I'm Shilpa Shadi Kundra and this is the Art of Balance. Sit in Vajrasana or a cross leg, pose with the hands resting on the knees, spine tall, and shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, slowly. Circle the next, starting from the side to tilt head backwards. Exhale. Circle the chin downwards, from the other side. Complete the circle, with smooth, rhythmic movements. Do not strain. Feel the stretch in the neck muscles all through the circles. Circle the neck only and do not move the ribs or the rest of the torso. Inhale as the neck is tilted backwards and exhale as the chin circles in the forward direction. Do not hold your breath. Inhale as the head moves up. Exhale as the head moves down. Sit in cross-leg pose with your spine erect. Place the fingers of your left hand on your left shoulder and the fingers of your right hand on your right shoulder. Fully rotate your elbows at the same time, making large circles in opposite directions. Practice five times clockwise and then five times anti-clockwise. Try to touch your biceps to the ears while going upward. Squeeze your shoulder blades together while going backward. Touch the sides of your torso on the downward movement and touch your elbows in front of your chest on the forward movement. Keep the rest of your torso steady. Breathe normally. Tighten your abs and lift up from the base of your spine to maintain upright posture. Do not move your neck to increase range of motion at the shoulders. Lie on your back with your feet together and arms beside your body, inhale. Lift your upper body and both your legs off the floor, reaching your arms towards your feet. Engage as you tighten the abs and raise your torso and legs off the floor with arms in front of your legs. Try to keep your eyes, fist and toes in one line. As you exhale, come back to the ground slowly and relax. Sit in Padmasana with your spine erect and shoulders relaxed. Carefully bend backward, supporting your body with the arms and elbows. Lift the chest towards the ceiling. 
Take your head back and lower the crown of your head to the floor. Hold your big toes and rest your elbows on the floor, but do not pull. Adjust the position of your head so that the maximum arch in the mid-back is attained without straining your neck. Do not sink into your neck or shoulder blades. Close your eyes and breathe slowly and deeply. Inhale and focus on lifting your chest higher up to the ceiling. Pull the navel in towards your spine to support the back bend. Get into a quadruped position. Your knees may be together or slightly separated. This is the starting position. Inhale and raise your head and arch your spine so that the mid and lower back sink towards the floor. Exhale while tucking the chin in, push the mid and lower back upward and tug the tailbone inwards at the end of the exhalation. Contract the apps. Breathe normally. Keep your shoulder blades away from the ears throughout the movement. Do not sink in between your shoulder blades. Press away from the floor at all times. Ensure the weight is equal on all four points. Do not shift your torso back and forth. Sit in Vajrasana kneel on the knees with the arms at the sides. The legs and feet are separated to make the back bend more comfortably. Inhale here. Exhale, lean backward and slightly to the right and slowly reach for the right heel with the right hand and then the left heel with the left hand. Do not strain. Hold this position for 10 seconds. If you are unable to do so, support your lower back with both palms and then lean back. Return to the erect position by slowly crossing the left arm over the waist first. The weight of the body should be evenly supported by the legs and arms. If you experience discomfort in the neck or back, limit the range of the back bend. Keep the navel gently pulled in towards the spine. You should feel a stretch in the chest, abs, thighs, and hip flexors. Come out of the arsenal very gently. Come back to the starting position and relax.
Yay, and there is good news. We are halfway there. Stay positive, determined and committed to your health goal and get the most out of this wonderful body. Lie down on your stomach. Make sure your feet are together with the torus against the floor. Place your arms underneath the shoulders. Now placing your body's weight on your palms, inhale and raise your head and trunk. Arch your back and make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. Think of growing taller from the neck, shoulders and spine. Keep navel pulled into the spine to support your lower back. Inhale slowly, bring down your body, rest your chin on the ground, then forehead touching the ground, and relax. Lie down on your back, with straight legs, arms by your side. Bend both the legs, and place them hip, with distance. Hold the ankles and the palms, to ensure that they are closer to the hips. Take the palms, and place them behind the shoulders, ensuring your fingers are splayed open, and pointed towards your shoulders. Now press into both the heels and palms, to lift the hip up. Squeeze the glutes to keep the hips stable. Gaze in the front or between the palms. Focus on lifting the chest up. Avoid buckling the knees and keep them in line with the toes. To come down when the elbows dug the chain in and slowly rest the back of the head on the floor, then the upper back mid-back and then the lower back and hips on the floor. Lie on your back with straight legs and flexed feet. Arms rest on the side. Engage your abs before you lift the legs straight up. Straight legs are difficult to lift off the floor when the knees and then straighten them over the hips. Engage your abs to lift the hips up. Support them with your palms. Slowly walk the elbows closer to each other. Engage your abs. Squeeze the glutes as you hold the legs. Straight up, toes pointed. Keep the shoulders relaxed and length of the neck long. Ensure no weight is felt on the neck and is felt on the shoulders. Engage your abs as you slowly roll the spine down. Keep yourself supported with the palms till the back is safely flat on the floor.
Life flat on your back with your legs together. Place your arms beside the body with your palms facing downward. Raise both your legs towards the ceiling, keeping them straight and together using only the abdominal muscles. Press down on the arms, engage the abs, and lift the hips rolling the back away from the floor without using momentum. Slowly lower your legs over the head. Keep pushing your hips up towards the ceiling while still trying to touch your toes to the floor behind your head if possible. Do not force your toes to touch the floor. To return, start by lowering the arms with the palms facing down, and then slowly lower the back and hips to the floor. Raise your legs to the vertical position. Using the abdominal muscles, lower your legs to the starting position with control keeping the knees straight. There should be no weight on your neck. Life flat on the back with your arms comfortably away from your body, palms facing upward. A thin pillow of folded cloth may be placed under the head to prevent discomfort. Let the fingers curl up naturally, move your feet slightly apart to a comfortable position and close your eyes. Release all the stress from your muscles and relax. Feel the relaxation. Focus on your muscles. Relax your toes, heels, ankles, your shin, your curves. Your knees backside of your thighs, front side of your thighs. Relax your hips, relax your abdomen. Your root chakra, the base of your spine, mid-back, your stomach, your upper back, your upper chest, shoulders, arms, your elbows, your forearms, your wrist, your fingers and your palms. Sit in Sukhasana. Keep your back straight but feel relaxed in this position. Place your hands in the Dhyana Mudra. Close your eyes and mouth and breathe normally. Inhale and while you exhale, chant OM.
As you finish chanting OM three times, bring your hands in the prayer position and chant Shanti three times. Om Shanti 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 Now rub your hands against each other and place it on your eyes. Feel the warmth. Hope this helped you achieve your peace of mind. It's time for me to sign off. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Tab tak ke liye, swasth raho, mast raho.